Hello everybody, AVT here, and today I am inside the Exarchoon Heroic Instance. This is technically Phase 3, the Caretaker of the Lost, and I wanted to show you how to go ahead and do this as a solo medic. So the typical method here, I'm just going to go ahead and start this off so I can tell you as we fight, is you're going to stack your group on the Caretaker of the Lost. And as a medic, my goal here is going to be to keep my entire group's health bar full, and when CTP spawns, the Caretaker, or excuse me, Calming Influence, Painbringer, and um, Tomb Guardian, what you really need to watch out for is that spawn is a medic, because typically, the moment they spawn, they will aggro you. So they'll aggro you, you need to make sure you watch your own health bar, and then, as your group begins to aggro them, watch your group's health bar, because they will actually hurt pretty badly. Now, the one, I guess you could call it downside, to stacking on the Caretaker here in the middle is the Caretaker actually will be doing a decent chunk of damage to your group, which is why I said that your goal is just to keep your group's health bars all the way up. So I'm just going to keep my eye on my group's health bars, and whoever is losing health, they're going to get this, uh, I guess it's back to Amphuel, yeah, back to Amphuel. As we DPS this boss now. Now, another thing to keep an eye on is, once this Executioner becomes targetable, sometimes what will happen is the Executioner becomes targetable, yep, and just like that, those guys will spawn at the same time, so they might end up all fighting one target. So keep an eye on that target, it might be you, it might be one of your group members, but they might be taking a pretty significant chunk of damage for a few seconds while everybody's DPSing down the Executioner. So just be vigilant, make sure that they don't catch you off guard, because if they do, they really can burst somebody down if you're not paying attention. Oh, they said I growing the protector. This is what I alluded to in another video, where a lot of the uh, phases of this instance are just purely time-gated, based on scripted events. Uh, that's exactly how this one is as well. I mean, you're just going to be eliminating the executioners as they begin to march towards the prisoner, and the prisoner's going to make those caretaker protectors targetable, and you just rinse and repeat that until all the protectors are dead, and then you can fight the caretaker without the massive uh, damage reduction penalty. Alright, here they come again. Let's see who they're targeting. They're targeting the officer. Looks like I'm also taking a decent chunk of damage here, so I'm going to hit an AoE heal. Now they're all on me, so I will be watching my own health. Yep, there's a big chunk of damage. And there we go. Now my group's able to take aggro back because they were fighting the Executioner, they're no longer on me. So it's basically just the same thing. Um, I'm not going to focus on adding any DPS here. My entire focus as a solo medic, especially in this instance, is going to be on keeping my group alive. There are very few places when I'm running solo medic on really any instance content in this game in which I'm going to be focusing on adding my DPS. It's just so minuscule compared to everybody else's, and my heals are so important that, that really needs to be where my attention lies. I know it's a little unsightly, but it's a lot easier for me to manage if my map is open on this one. Tell my group that the executioner's up. Hopefully they pay attention.
getting some fairly good DPS in the caretaker here, so they should drop pretty quickly after we're done. CTP again. My own, my own help. You always have your aggro buff ability in your back pocket just in case you need it. I don't recommend using it unless you absolutely have to, just because it is such a handy ability and I really save it for emergencies. And currently I would not consider this an emergency. get everybody's health back up. And there we go. Only one caretaker protector left. And once that caretaker protector goes down, make sure that you rotate out of the center so that you don't get hit by that poison gas that the caretaker will put out. And just be mindful because typically when you take out this last caretaker protector. The timing seems to work out so that another round of ads spawn. Just be aware that that's probably going to happen. Don't get caught. And there we go. Now that those are down, rotate out. Make sure that the few people know. The extra ads didn't spawn. That's very nice. I'm not going to complain. And as you rotate around the room, just make sure that you don't rotate too quickly. Because if you rotate too quickly, you'll actually run yourself into the gas. So I kind of just do this little staggered run deal here. And there we go. That is how you take out the caretaker of the lost. So as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time.